All right, greetings, welcome. Looks like we have another thousand subscribers added to the channel since the last two videos. So I wanna say thank you and welcome. Today we're gonna to be talking about three main things. First one, the next hike for Kenny and the M Cave, uh, which is happening this Saturday, June 22nd, 2019. And I'm gonna open it up to anyone else who wants to join. I'll talk more about it here in a sec. Second thing I want to discuss is the government and military's efforts to completely take that area over, the wildlife refuge and the sheep range, and make it off limits to the public. Very interesting. Last thing is I'm going to give you guys an idea of the schedule of video material for the remainder of 2019 that I plan to put out, so you kind of have an idea of what to expect. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's talk about the hike. First off, I want to say thank you to everyone who's remained loyal and subscribed to this channel over the past two and a half, three years, and been patient with me in scheduling this now third hike I'll be doing for Kenny and the cave. Uh, this isn't something you want to just throw together, you know, and you have to have the right people with you that you trust. There's a substantial amount of risk involved here let's state the obvious you know there's a guy missing that's an unsolved mystery uh, and he was looking for a vibrating cave which shouldn't be happening so those two things alone i think have deterred thousands if not millions of people from even stepping foot on the refuge second major risk factor is the area is so remote and there's no cell service out there the place will be camping at this hike is probably I want to say about five miles from where the vehicles will be parked now if you get bit by a rattlesnake you know what's the plan that's not the predicament you want to be in because the heart's got to pump you know you gotta have a plan what's my plan don't get bit <laughs> we'll see how it goes uh, third major risk factor is and I'm gonna show you this map real quick is the area is surrounded and triangulated by three military bases and that you know should be something that brings safety <laughs> to your heart but considering one of those bases is area 51 uh, there's not really some safety there so here's a map try to cut that glare down this is Las Vegas okay Nellis Air Force Base Creech Air Force Base Indian Springs and then that's our spot we'll be in if this map was bigger and extended up, right here would be about where Area 51 is. So obviously, as you can see, boop, 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 it's triangulating over our spot. And to think that those bases don't have underground ops going on is a little naive. Obviously, I can't sit here and prove that there's tunnels running from all of them, or to, all, to and from all of them, but, I mean, come on. So you get what I'm saying. There's a ton of risk involved, not to mention the threats to my life that I received if I were to continue searching for Kenny in the cave, uh, which came in after posting the last announcement of this hike and why I canceled that last hike. So bottom line, if it doesn't feel right with my own personal intuition, I'm not gonna do it, period. So those of out there may ask, okay, so why go back? Well, I think there's three main reasons. First, you could say good old curiosity and the closure of two huge mysteries. Secondly, I talked about the importance of going with someone that you trust. Now, this time, I'm going with a guy that you'll meet on the hike and who actually was the first person who told me about the whole Kenny and M Cave story. Uh, I trust this guy with my life. I, I've I have trusted him with my life in the line of duty and he has uh, came through and vice versa. So also, I mean, he's, he's someone that's trekked hundreds if not thousands of miles through various types of terrain and he's an extremely experienced hiker. So that makes me feel great. Lastly, uh, the government's talking about shutting that area down, you know, so this may be one of the last opportunities that civilians like myself and you have an opportunity to get out there and poke around. Okay, so right now I'm going to do something that's probably not extremely common with someone in my position and that could potentially add 
to the risk for myself, but due to popular demand, the enjoyment of meeting new people, and to have more eyes on the hike, I am inviting the public to come out and hike with me. This is a worldwide invitation to everyone and anyone who wants to come along. Why? Because I've seen at least 15 to 20, maybe more people in the comments and other sources who have said, hey, what's up, Sean? I respect what you're doing and I would be more than happy to join you on your next hike to assist with the search for Kenny in the cave. So here it is, here's your shot. I know it's short notice, uh, there is a little bit of method to that madness, but I also had short notice myself, and this is the only weekend that was working for my partner. If you're planning on going, what you need to do is navigate to my about page, locate my email, and send me a message. In that message, I want you to have your full name, a phone number where I can contact you at, and a small bio on yourself. After I receive that email, I'm going to send you all the details for the rendezvous and what you need to know. Okay, moving on to the second main thing that this video is about, which is the possible closure of that entire area on the wildlife refuge. I want to show you guys a website here. I don't know if the address is going to make it into the shot, but it's sierraclub.org. You can go there and check it out for yourself. Desert National Wildlife Refuge talking points. They're discussing everything and anything. I'm gonna to scroll to something real quick. Okay, right there, as you can see, kind of in the middle of the screen. A proposal to take primary control of an additional 300,000 acres of the refuge, right there. Gives you an idea of how much land they're looking to take. Like I said, you can go here and read through it on your own. I'm going to jump to another website real quick. Okay, here we are. This is NevadaWilderness.org. And here you go. Save the Desert National Wildlife Refuge. It's an update. Looks like the public had a win with the news here. I'm going to scroll down to some stuff I feel is pertinent and I remember. But it was something like 32,000 comments were sent on behalf of not taking the area over to the Air Force. Uh, right there. 32,000. But this thing is far from over. Because if they want to take that area, they're going to do it. There you go. Right there. The Air Force still wants to withdraw an additional 300,000 acres of the desert. Wow. Wow. Um, you guys can come check this out. A quick side note while we're in the gossip region here, and something I just recently noticed. If you go to Kenny's YouTube page here, Snake Bite McGee, all right? Look at his videos. Okay, all which were posted on the same day. I think it was October 17th. 2014 if I'm not mistaken minus uh, this handsome cowboy video which I think he posted like a month and a half prior uh, September sometime okay you have that if you go to his playlist and you click on his liked videos some interesting stuff here you guys can go look for yourself coincidentally the spirit science video here I have visited their page I think it was last year, maybe two years ago. They have uh, great material. Um, but something that caught my attention, and which was the most recently liked video of his, and was this one right here that I began watching. And it's titled, obviously, How Not to Go Crazy During Your Awakening <clears throat> and Other Helpful Insights. This video is done by a guy named Bernard Alvarez who coincidentally has very similar material on his channel that I plan to be putting out myself. And a lot of what his message and channel's about is awakening. 
you know, going through that spiritual awakening and the transformation and returning to source. And I'd highly recommend you guys going to his channel, checking out some of the stuff there. I, I definitely support his message he's giving. I think uh, just from what I've seen, he seems like a really awesome guy. <clears throat> but my point is, what a coincidence that, you know, he, Kenny clearly, if he liked this video, he was experiencing a spiritual awakening of some sort, which I myself have also been experiencing over the last three years. And I think one of the main stimulants that pushed me down that road was actually going out into the mountains and looking for Kenny. So really interesting stuff here. Um, there are no coincidences and just something I noticed recently that I thought I'd share. Okay, and then to discuss the third main thing this video is about, the frequency of the content and future material I intend to put out, which should be every two weeks, but when we're talking about the next 10 to 12 days, this is what you can expect. Three videos. One, Saturday morning before we launch on the hike. In there, I'm gonna state where we'll be parking the vehicles, where we'll be camping out for the night, and the route we're gonna be taking to and from the vehicles, just in case anything happens, of course. The next video you should see will be Sunday night, the 23rd, as we return, or Monday morning, the 24th, depending on how late we get in. And then that third video will be posted the following Saturday, which I believe is the 29th, and that will have the hike footage included. Well, all right, that does it for now. Like I said, if you plan on coming, please email me, send me your information. That way, if you're running a couple minutes behind, I can wait up for you before we leave the rendezvous and you don't miss the train. Okay, well, as always, make it a positive day and I'll see you on the next video.